Well, when you have that kind of shot load, and here's a guy that had a lot of it in Philly. Yeah, he can also shoot the puck. Ron Hextall, second game back after missing 14 with a thigh injury. He had the win against the Flyers here in October. Ron Hextall is appearing in his 48th game this afternoon. <laughs> yes. Karkner has shot. Stopped by Hextall. Thrown back off by Willannon. You show first period, 1-0. Quebec, Brindamore brings it back in. Rod Brindamore, a backhander on. It's save made by Hextall. It is Huff lit up by Deneen and started a hit for Eric Lindros. Watched by Duchesne. Lindros fires, save. Huff knocked loose, and here goes Hextall after oh. Lindros. Well, let's get at it. Hexy wanted a piece of him. Ron Hextall didn't drop his gloves or take his mask off, but he sure came roaring out after Lindros. Well, you can see that Ron Hextall is the same kind of guy he was in Philly. You're not allowed to touch him. I mean, he had made the save, and Eric poked away at it with one hand on a stick, and that's why Ron Hextall went a little crazy on him. Shot up high. There's the one-hand poke by Lindros, and watch Ron Hextall come roaring. Well, three guys tried to get Big 88 off his feet and couldn't. And some pretty good restraint by Eric Lindros has led to a penalty on Ron Hextall and nothing for the Flyers. Oh, you know what? Eric saw that coming and got the best face off with LaPointe, wins it. Galley fires, blocked away by Lindros, rebound, tucked one in front, and it's swept away by Gusarov. McGill in, drive, kicked away. Loose puck in front, they poke away at it, but it's frozen. And here we have Hextall. That's LaPointe, he did get a piece of it. Here is Brindamore on a breakaway. Short-handed. Save made by Hextall. In front action. On oh, Hextall got that one too. Rod does not get beaten by many. But suffice it to say, Ron Hextall has faced him before. Not necessarily in games, but in practice. Well, Ron Hextall is so tall. If you go to the blocker side, because he stands so tall and his blocker is so high, you got to get it right up under the crossbar. And I'm not sure Rod got this one quite high enough. Ron Hextall did not commit first. You can always tell when Ron Hextall is on top of it, he'll wait. When things are going south on him, like most goaltenders, he'll start guessing and commit first. But watch him on this one. You can see Rod Brindamore actually hit him in the blocker glove. Rowan Hextall hardly had to move. That is a fine. Conroy to the outside again. Gets over for Butsayev, but it's picked up instead and worked around by Barani. Then Yuskevich shovels one. Ricochet in front. Loose puck. Oh, and Hextall came up with that, and then it was not loose. And Veronik wants to fall in the direction of Sunday, who got his 49th earlier in this game. Recky moves in. Mark Recky with a shot. Tipped aside by Hextall and around behind it sent to Recky again. Swings it back over for Rod Brindamore. Brindamore to at goal. The same number they had last time when they won 6-3. to three. They're ahead 6-2. to two. Terry Karkner tried to get through and a good shot by Fedekin. Another shot and another one and it squirted wide. Well, Karkner did the bulwark. And Fedek got a great chance, and then Hogg got a shot and stacking. Gary Galley back to Yushkevich with 10.35 to go. Shovel ahead for Lindros, then on for Fedek. Fedek to Lindros. Oh, and a save made by Hextall. That puck is lying right on the goal line underneath Ron Hextall. Eric Lindros has had four good scoring chances in this game. Nice play by Brent Fedek. Couldn't do much with that except just shovel it towards Ron Hextall. And we've talked about Hextall. Finding a 7-3 in favor of the Quebec Nordiques. Fedek with a pass over for Lindros. Back to Fedek. Cranks a shot. Save. Hextall covers. Well, 
The crazy eights reunited have been closed off by Young. Tapped it further. Ricci guided it back up the boards. Big drive by Recchi. Snapped up by Hextall. And he just sort of sank into the ice. I think he felt that one was really easier than he made it look. And it may have changed a little on him or faked him out some way or other. It looked like it was rolling when the shot was taken, so it might have knuckled on him a little bit. Every time I see Ron... The only question surrounding this team dressed in white is how they will do in the playoffs with 14 people in uniform today who have never played in an NHL playoff.